Well, hello everybody. Uh, it's Pastor Basil again joining you during the week. I really enjoy getting together with you uh, between Sundays so we have a chance to touch base and encourage one another. And uh, this morning when I woke up, I was thinking about all of the wonderful things that have happened in my life between this past Sunday and today. Um, great blessings. Now, were these huge things? Were these life-shattering things? No, uh, they were small things. But there are literally thousands of them. Uh, many, many, many more good things than uh, difficult things that have happened. And I'm sure that's true of your life as well. If you can think of uh, all of those wonderful moments uh, that take place every single day, I'm sure you can think of many great things as well, many more uh, than uh, the bad things that are going on uh, in our lives um, and in the world. But that being said, we do have some grave challenges that we're facing. And uh, unlike many of the challenges that, that we've faced in the past, um, we're facing these challenges together. Everyone is facing uh, these challenges together. And uh, that's, that's fascinating because it gives us uh, a camaraderie. It gives us an understanding of what each of us is, is going through because uh, we're all literally going through it every day. And uh, uh, the greatest challenge, of course, that uh, we're experiencing, uh, the root of most of the problems, uh, is, of course, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, unfortunately, we've had some uh, bad news about cases rising recently. In fact, uh, Dr. Fauci um, said today, he said that cases are rising in 47 states and uh, patients are overwhelming hospitals across the country. And uh, Dr. Fauci said if things do not change, if they continue on the course we're on, there's going to be a whole lot of pain in this country with regard to additional cases and hospitalizations and deaths. Boy, not a not a whole lot of good news right there. And in Europe, of course, the uh, the pandemic is is spreading again. They've seen really a second wave. And uh, today, uh, Mr. Macron, the president of France. Uh, along with uh, Germany, uh, they've both decided to shut down parts of their countries again because of the pandemics and uh, because of the pandemic there. And Mr. Macron said that France must now brutally apply the brakes to avoid being submerged by the acceleration of the epidemic. The virus is circulating at a speed that not even the most pessimistic forecasts had anticipated. You know. So, again, there's a lot that we can be concerned about. But you know something, and I've mentioned this many times before, is that when the chips are down, when things are tough, that's when God's presence manifests itself most powerfully in our lives. Uh, it's when the people of God throughout time um, have experienced their most difficult moments that they have experienced their most powerful moments with God. And so those are the things that uh, during this difficult time, if we focus on, uh, can keep us encouraged and keep our hearts uplifted uh, and keep us on the right track. In fact, uh, I was reading today uh, from the Apostle Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, and uh, I love the different uh, symbols and metaphors he uses for the faith. And in chapter 9, he uses this, uh, this metaphor of a race. And this is what he says. Do you not know that in a race, the runners all compete, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may win it. Athletes exercise self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable one. 
Amen. And that uh, imperishable one he's talking about is not only the eternity that awaits us beyond this world, but it's also the opportunity to experience a greater sense of God's presence in this world. Um, when we cry out to God at our darkest moments, that's oftentimes when God reveals himself most powerfully. And those moments, those spiritual experiences that we have, we then can carry those beyond the difficult times. Uh, they remain a permanent part of our faith. So it's through the difficult things that God forges our souls in such a way that it, it changes us indefinitely. So we become more faithful in this world as we prepare for eternity. So with all of these negative things going on, that's uh, what I want to encourage all of you to think about this week. Think about all of God's blessings each and every day and how many more of them there are. And then also think of the ways that God can improve and strengthen your faith in the midst of these trials. That doesn't make these trials good. It doesn't make the pandemic good. It doesn't mean God sent the pandemic, but it does mean that God can literally use anything, um, and especially our darkest moments, uh, to make us stronger than we ever were before. Uh, join me in prayer. O oh, gracious and loving God, as we continue to press forward in this race, this spiritual race in this world, as we wrestle with all of the challenges that are before us every day, we pray that you would manifest your spirit powerfully in our lives. Help us to feel a greater presence of you with us and help us emerge from this pandemic, this great trial and everything related to it, closer to you and stronger in our faith than we were going into it. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, praise God and God bless all of you. You take care. It was wonderful meeting with you again. And we will see you Sunday, either through the screen or in person. But either way, we're going to worship God. Amen.